Hello again, friends. You know, from the very beginning of this pandemic, we've been encouraged to wash our hands often and well. Some distillery companies redirected their plants to manufacture hand sanitizer rather than other spirits. Being clean is important for our own health as well as for the health of others. In Jesus' day, the religious leaders had all sorts of washing ceremonies they went through before they ate and performed other religious duties. And while there's nothing wrong with the washing, Jesus challenged the fact that they decided what they needed to do to be clean before God, rather than hearing and following what God had said. Jesus said, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship is a farce, for they teach man-made ideas as commands from God. And while we're all right to not want to live the kind of hypocritical lives these Pharisees lived, I think it's important that we do ask ourselves in what ways we put our own ways of doing things ahead of seeking God for his plan in each of our days and circumstances. It's not about how much effort we put into what we're doing that counts. It's about getting right what needs doing and accepting and following God's way. Look at these words. I know what enthusiasm they have for God, but it is misdirected zeal, for they don't understand God's ways of making people right with himself. Refusing to accept God's ways, they cling to their own way of getting right with God by trying to keep the law. Well, you know, the classic example that comes to mind in this area is where Jesus asks his disciples, who do you say that I am? And Peter answers correctly, very quickly. But then in the very next breath, it seems, it's telling Jesus how the way forward Jesus has described can never happen to him. You know, we think we're so smart and our theology is so tidy, but God is wiser and his ways are way above ours. And we need to humbly seek his way in this day and pray for willingness and grace to actually lay down our own, whatever they are, set in our ways practices for what God shows us. So let's pray for that, shall we? Loving God, we so easily can rail on other people about this or that, that we're pretty sure is not the right way of doing things. It's too easy to see beyond our own lives and our own customs to the behavior of others. Lord, today we know that any work of change and cleansing needs to begin with ourselves. It's not even that we belligerently go after our own ways often, but rather that we get so used to doing something in a particular way that we just don't bother to check in with you about what your plan for this day or this time is. The longer that goes on, the more set in our ways we get and the more we lock other people out. Forgive us, Lord. Help us to recognize the diversity of your plans and ideas that match what you and you alone know is going on in particular situations and people. What's been the right thing to do at one point in time may not be what you're directing for us today with what we're facing in our families, our church, or our community. While we always want all of our actions to be in line with your will as revealed in the Bible, we do pray that you will help us to be conscious and cleansed of our own spin on things. As your word says, how much more then will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death so that we may serve the living God. So God, along with Isaiah the prophet, we commit ourselves to taking the time and effort to actually seek you out today and call on you. We pray for humility to forsake our own ways and thoughts and to be filled with a willingness and grace to turn to you. Seek the Lord, Isaiah reminds us. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them and to our God, for he will freely pardon. Lord, we agree with you that what you have in mind is much higher and wiser than our own thoughts. And we need to have our thoughts changed today and raised to the way of life that you're showing us for this day. Our simple desire, along with King David in the Bible, is 
Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Amen. Well, I don't know how you're set in your ways. I know I'm set in mine. Well, I probably don't even know all the ways I've set in my ways, but you know what I mean. Let's do our best today to listen, to seek out God's heart, and to follow it. Have a great day.